What's good everybody? It's your girl Joanne Gray and I'm back today with another wig review. And today's wig is one of these Euro collection. This is the incorrect tag. This is um, a tag for the number five that I did. Um, I also did a review on number two. And this one is a Euro collection number three. And I've had it for a while. I bought two, then three, then five. Um, I didn't review this wig because I really couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do. And these wigs don't come with pictures, so it was kind of a difficult feat for me. But of course, you know how it works. When I can't do anything with them, I move on to the next one, and then I can come back to this a little later. So what I did was, well, what I've noticed is they're now having these wigs available online. So we can find the Euro collections at a couple of places online right now and the prices are pretty comparable to the beauty supply store which is running like twenty seven ninety nine or somewhere around there so they're in the twenty seven to thirty five dollar range which is not too bad you know um, considering that they're really nice wigs I love these salon style wigs because they're so flexible and the hair is really flexible and nice and, and soft and it really mimics a human hair, you know, texture and, and density, and it just, it really is nice. And anyway, this one is the number three salon, no, is it salon style? Yes, salon style, number three. And this one is in the color 1B30FB, because the front bang is 30. Now, because I just recently saw the wigs available online, I was able to see what the style was supposed to be like. And I will put it in that style, but today when I came home from work, I said, let me do a review on this wig, especially since I've seen it, because I was trying to figure out, you know, how do I incorporate this light hair in with this dark hair, and what was I supposed to do with it? Well, what I did was I brought the hair over to the opposite side. I noticed when I bought the wig many months ago that it has this little light patch of hair right here that wasn't really blending in with the bang because the bang is designed to go this way. But the hair is so soft and so movable that it moved over to the other side with ease. So that's what I decided to do. So I have not done any cutting alterations to this wig. I haven't sprayed any products on this wig. I just used a comb and a brush and my imagination and moved the front bang from the left side to the right side and styled the wig this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around for you. This is the left side of my face. Um, you got the bangs that can tuck behind your ear and the hair that lays flat on your neck um, is just real nice. It is tapered nicely. Um, you've got the front bang, which is a number 30, and then you've got the 1B as the base for the wig around. Okay, here's the back of the wig. And another thing that I like about this wig is that you can you can bump the you can fluff the hair up, or you can smooth it down. And I'll show you as I manipulate the wig with the brush to bring the bang over to the opposite side to try to emulate the picture that I've seen online of the wig. And did I show you this side? This side is where I actually moved the bang over and you know brushed over some of that light hair into the dark hair. And again, the hair just hugs the side of your neck. This is a really good uh, tapering job on this wig. It's really, really nice. And I recommend this wig highly if you like this kind of style for your hair. So what I decided to do, as I said today, was move the bang over to the opposite side. And, of course, I, I could, you know, work a little harder to turn this bang the other way so I don't have hair sticking out, you know, just so it's, the bang's not sticking out. Um, you know, you can use spritz and hairspray and bobby pins and things to style the hair that way. Um, and I, I really like the way this little piece here and the hair that's actually light into the wig. I like the way it just feathers over that way. Really is a cute wig. And again, I, I recommend it highly. I give it two thumbs up. But again, this is the, this is going to be the first style, but it is going against the grain, so to speak, 
is going against the style. Now, the way that the wig is shown online, the bang, let's see, the bang actually goes over to this side. But what I didn't understand about it was like once you, let me put the mirror up here, once you um, make the little flip in front of the wig, you know, it's, I felt like then what? So I didn't show you all this wig because I was really at a loss for what to do with it and then not have it, having seen it anywhere, it was hard to know, you know, how I was going to present this wig to you all. Okay, so it kind of looked like this, and, and it really just wasn't a whole lot to it. I just don't think it has a whole lot of pizzazz this way. And the way the lady has it, she has the wig that has the opposite effect. Like, they have um, a lighter part of hair, like all this hair right here. This is what I like about it. It feathers up. I mean, you can really glam this wig out. You can really make this wig big hair. And I, I love that about this wig, that there's so many options with it. And this is, you know, like right up there with the um, freestyle wig that they put out, freestyle number one that I did a review on, you know, several months ago. You really can, you really have a lot of options with this wig. And the hair just moves. You don't have to do a whole lot to it to, to, and you don't need a comb, you can use your fingers to style this wig. Um, again, the way they have that wig online, the bang kind of is feathered out to the back, and then this hair is mixed in with it, but the way she has it is that this part of the wig here is light, and it's going into the darker base. So mine is kind of opposite, so it just looked weird. Now, I'm I'm really not going to be able to style it like that because I still can't figure out how, you know, how they've done that, how they've actually accomplished that style that she has on her head. But again, I will show you this. The one thing I like about it, this wig completely, will completely smooth out. If you can lay this hair completely flat on the head. And then just bring it back, bring it back to life with some. And I think I'm just still going to prefer to have this bang go over to this side. It just seems to me like the only option, really. And that's for me. This is with my bang going over to the left. Like I said, you can smooth this wig down. And then just take your time and do some and bump up the area around the wig and make it a little fluffier and a little fuller. Now hopefully I'll be able to come up with something before this video concludes because I'm not going to bore you all to death with, with me attempting styles. But you can, you do have a lot of options. You just need to be in front of your mirror and work with it. So the bang can go either way, as we see, and I don't know if you want to use some mousse, or not mousse, but um, the styling gel that they recommended for the freestyle wig. They recommended you use a clear gel so that you can move this hair in, in various directions. Okay, so I think I ended up right back where I started from. But if you are find that you're at a loss with this wig and what to do with it, just flip the bang over to the opposite side and work your magic with it. This really is a cute wig, and you can, you know, cut these sideburns off, taper them down, and like I said, the hair is extremely soft, and all this hair can can push up. You know, you can pull this hair up as high as you want it. Feather it in to one side or the other. Hopefully, you can see the detail in that. I mean, this hair really is nice and soft. So, this is another cutie do from the Euro Collection. Salon style number three in the color 1B30. FB, which I've come to believe is front bang, and um, 
this is going to conclude my review. Okay, so again, I give it two thumbs up. I think that you will really enjoy this wig because the options are endless in what you can do. So I'm going to be back later with another wig review. It's my day off tomorrow, so I'm going to uh, sit down. I got some wigs to show you. I went on and cleaned out my closet and packed away all my long uh, lace front wigs and packed away some of these shorty do's which are easy to just put right back in the plastic for space um, but I did find some wigs that I have not reviewed including this one and uh, so I'm going to do a few videos in the next couple of days and I hope you enjoy the reviews Thank you for your time and energy. God bless.